How's it going everyone? Zonobra here coming at you with another video. Today I'm going to do a commentary a video, but before I get into it, I want to ask you something. Do you prefer the format that I'm going to do right now, which is like reacting to my uh, records and saying what was wrong, going back to it, showing you details? Or do you prefer um, videos like my TF versus Anivia with like the text, with the arrows and all that stuff? So please take a minute to watch both videos and let me know what you prefer and I will maybe I can do both, maybe I can do one more than the other. Just let me know what you think. Thank you so much for being here by the way, let's get into the video. Alright, so what's up everyone? We're here and I got the records of one of my stream. I played in Jinx with a Soraka support. I'm gonna just watch the stream, watch the game, watch my replay and analyze some mistakes I did. I'm gonna make sure to leave only the important parts, so let's get into it. If you have any questions guys, feel free to comment down below or tweet at me at Zonobra. Alright, I wanna rewatch this, so okay, okay. So Sarika will put her, her zone here, the, light, the silent zone on me, so that it protects me a little bit, but then... I think that my E was a little bit too far away, and Mordekaiser, which is named Mordekaiser, got the kill on Soraka. I think it was a good uh, aggression from Blitzkrieg. Nothing I could have done more. Maybe, wait, let me see when I use the heal. I want to see when I use the heal. So I used the heal a little bit before, right? And I try to use the heal. Okay. So I use the hell as soon as she's being hooked, about like 30 seconds before this action. Yeah, and then on, after Blitzcrank, so Soraka didn't have come Flash, on, so Blitzcrank is just going to rush good into... Good job, let me just lower the volume of this. Uh, Blitzcrank just knew that Soraka didn't have Flash, so he, she just had, he just had to rush onto Soraka. Maybe I should expect that and just be more careful because Soraka is coming in just because I can go a little bit deeper. And her Q spell made her cost her life, right? Maybe I should have been more like here. Like, I should have been more putting more pressure. Maybe I would have gotten in the kill on Blitzcrank or something. I could have done this better, I think. I really could have done this better, but it's it's always like that. Like, a Blitzcrank will focus the guy who, who flashed, so I guess it's okay. Mordekaiser kind of is missing. Blitzkrieg is stepping up. Here I put my E in a very weird position. Like, there's still space here where he can go and come in. So I get hooked. I flash out instantly. I miss the W. I could have gotten a lot of damage and maybe Sejuani would have come. Sejuani is like, oh, you can't see the minimap, but Sejuani is, she's like around the mid lane. Uh, actually, let me change that. Let me change it right now during the recording. Let me just put myself right here. Like, you guys don't need to see my stat or anything. Okay. So nobody died there, but I still wasted my flash, so I'm still very uh, vulnerable. Blitzkrank is trying to... Um, Blitzkrank is definitely trying to hook me, and he's trying to get some kill. Like, right now, both are level 6, it's very easy for them to burst the shit out of me. But, I, just need to push this game to I still have my heal, I still have Sarka, but Sarka is not level 6. I know, like, right now on stream, I'm literally saying, yo, like, I know we can just win if we just don't die. Alright, Blitzkrank is on him. Very nice W for me there. I think the, that was very good. Blitzkrank is just being a little bit cocky, using all his mana just to poke. He's just that makes him lose a lot of pressure. Like for for now, we're just chilling. I know that Sejuani is doing some job in the mid lane. I'm not being too worried. I just don't want to do anything fancy. Like Soraka just flash, and I kind of freak out when there's a Blitzkrank like in front of me. It's very, it's very, it's very like it's confusing a little bit. It's like I tend to freak out. I'm like, is he gonna brain? Is he gonna? anticipate my movement it's always like a huge thought process in my mind and I tend to freak out so here I don't know if they're trying to dive us or something so Soraka already uses the W so that was kind of a mistake here like you don't want to use a W until you know that they have like turned a girl or they're really about to get it here it was a sign of like oh Blitzkrank is like oh trigger there's no W of Soraka we can just go in and try to kill so right now I have my heal, there's a bunch of farm here that are just hitting the turret, my turret is at like 25% health, maybe a little more like 30%, I'm full health, I'm missing some mana, I can't even use the ultimate, but I can use like an E or like a W or even just uh, keep the Q spell on bazooka mode, and Sarka is full mana but not full health, so let's see what happens here. So, okay, so Blitzkrieg is trying to hook. Blitzkrank hooks instantly and he grabs the turret aggro, okay? Like you see the damage from the hook getting the aggro. So not Mordekaiser. Mordekaiser is not even super high in health. And Blitzkrank is super low in mana. And you see he's like he has like electrified fist. So that's pretty much all he's gonna do this fight. 
right now I don't have any mana, so I tend to freak out. And my first reflect here is to reposition. So let's see what I do. Swain is coming with a TP. Uh, so I got still level five. So I get airborne. Okay, Swain is just going to TP, but it's going to be too late. They're just going to run away instantly. Uh, hopefully we can get a kill. So I'm just trying to hit, 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 and he misses his flash, and we're going to get a kill like that. So that was really like the mistake that they did is trying to dive because Sarka used a W. I guess it was like. Especially because Swain had TP and everything, so it was very risky from them. And the whole like Blitzkrieg missing his flash, well, shit happened. So it just it was just one free kill for me. I'm glad I had the kill. Swain is probably gonna lose some time, but I mean, Cizrani is gonna go top, protect the turret, so it's fine. I don't know where Mordekaiser is. I didn't know where Blitzkrieg is, so I'm getting TP'd on there. So let's just let's just see what's happening. Okay. So I use my W. I use my E. To root the guy who's TPing. In that case, it's who is TPing? Who is that? Who is that? Oh, that's Karma. Okay. So Karma is TPing. Let's go back a little bit. So Karma is TPing. Graves is coming from here. Graves, uh, Blitzkrieg is coming from here. So three seconds before I was alone hitting the turret, I didn't know what happened. I didn't know there was a ward here. I didn't have vision on the bush here, which I should have like gotten. I feel like this ward here at Drake just reinsured me for some reason, but I didn't have vision and all that. So let's see what happens. So I guy is definitely like, she's definitely in more danger. Like, she's way closer to the base. So what I decided to do is like, I want to root Karma and go towards one enemy. I don't want to go in between. I don't want to go blah blah. I want to go towards one enemy. So you see like how I'm clicking my mouth here. I want to go like on the straight line and ignore this so I can have enough time to run. I still have heal. Sarka is full health with some uh, level 6. Uh, she doesn't have ultimate. Never mind. She doesn't have ultimate. She's level 6. So let's see what happens. So Karma is just going to be root. Sarka decides to put the silence here. I guess it was to have another root after my root. But I'm not sure if that was the right call, to be honest. I think, like, Blitzkrieg would have been maybe the best shot. Like, silencing the hook gives you more time to uh, get some space and maybe, like, to straff it. So, I don't know. So, let's see what I do. I think this is the scene where, like, I kite the Grave and I kill him. You have to know that Grave was kind of... Uh, he wasn't doing really well, but he was still not doing really bad. You see he's level 6. Uh, our Cedrini is level 8. So, Cedrini did an actual good job. But he still has, like... The red item plus uh, this thing here that gives you CDR and attack damage. So he's not doing really bad. I only have BF and a Dorn Blade. So here, okay. So here, what happens is that Sorika is gonna die. Okay, that's pretty much it. Like that's pretty much sure. Look at her health here. I decide to. So when they leave me alone and it's like me against Graves, I just notice what's happening around me. Right now, the wave is coming in, and there's literally like. Three uh, cast a minion and three uh, normal minion. Grave is dependent on his burst with the Q a lot, and I want to make sure that I can straff it. Also, my Q spell allows me to kite very well because it gives me a bonus attack speed, and I have heal and one, even two potions. So let's see what I do. So I start to kite. I start to kite around the minions. I want to make sure I, I pop my heal just to make sure I'm okay, and I'm gonna get the kill. I did not use the potion. Maybe I should have used the potion instead of using heal there. And then Blakeson's trying to come, but look, Graves is, um, Karma is over here. I'm pretty much alone against Grave. I don't think there's anything he can do. He has enough mana to come with me. He has like 150. He can maybe like Q and R. But that's pretty much it. I don't think he's going to kill me. He did use a knight though. I like, I'm being ignited right now. So I start kiting. I just go around. I go around. I want to make sure he can't lend a hook. Like, I literally... I literally turn around and around and around. I don't want him to land a hook. I missed the W. I'm actually glad I missed the W because if I hit the W, I would have maybe gotten like a little bit too cocky and he would have killed me with his minions. So, actually, I actually like that. Alright, so I'm going to go to base. Sarka is just going to die all the way over there. Shouts to you, Sarka. I'm sorry, bro. Rest in peace. Uh, but it's okay. I mean, she didn't die that whole time. That was crazy, actually. I thought she was just going to die instantly. So Karma wasted a lot of time. And meanwhile, Velkos just pushed a huge wave in the second bot lane. It, it allows him to go top lane. Not sure what they're going to do, but let's get back in uh, to the next action bot lane. I back. So I'm back into a dragon lane. They just got dragon. If you don't know what a Kaiser, he has this thing where dragon into like
a pet and it does a lot of damage and it cleaves so it does a lot of damage in area so right now they just does Drake Graves just dashed out no mana uh, kind of 60% health Karma not a lot of mana Velka's not a lot of health Mordecai's are looking good I'm coming in with probably no like not a lot of mana but I have Zeal and BF, so that's not super good, but I can still do a lot of damage. I just don't have a lot of mana to use my E and stuff. So let's see what happens. So Sereni is going to engage here. So Sereni starts to uh, engage on the Graves. I start to aim the W. I can't hit it, unfortunately. The Graves is going to die. I'm going to flash into the Graves. So that was actually pretty risky, and maybe if I thought about it, I wouldn't have done it because, well, flash is a very... Uh, um, valuable feature especially when you're an ADC without a dash but I was feeling secured I was like yo Yazoo is top Karma is already going back to her mid lane I'm just gonna get that kill and maybe I can reposition with my passive that's usually how I think when I play uh, Jinx so let's get back into of course Blicken is not gonna kill me but I have red buff so I'm like okay let's just chase a little bit then my team tells me to back the fuck out and for the Karma is getting a kill on Soraka, which sucks. We're going to kill the Drake from Mordekaiser. And Blicken is just going to get back into the fight. He's trying to get into the Valkos, who is very, very low in HP. Right now, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. You know why? Because Karma didn't have any mana. Like, Karma literally could put, like, a 1Q spell, and she was done. Blitzkrieg was kind of scary, but I have red buff. I can kite. I have a pot. I feel confident. So right now you see I'm trying to turn around this thing so he can't grab and he's really he's feeling very insecure about it. Mordecai is still in that jungle and Yazoo is still in the top lane. So I'm start hitting, I'm start hitting, I start hitting. I I kind of zone here. It's I want to zone Karma for coming towards here and I also want Blissing to go around so we can kill him. It creates a separation of the team fight and it helps like it also helps yeah, uh, Velcos coming in and like putting some spells up. So let's see what happens. I start to take some damage. I get the assist, and right now I feel like rushing into Karma uh, because she doesn't have a lot of mana. But I'm still not sure, so I'm just going back, and I don't have a lot of uh, HP. Monikaiser is also gonna die. I have 1,400 gold, and I'm like, okay, let's just go bot lane. Let's get the turret, and let's just back from that. All right, right now Blitzkrieg is gonna get uh, onto Velkos. Velkos is gonna get bursted a little bit. And they not they don't have enough burst to actually kill uh, the Velkos. Lucian is gonna take the kill on Graves. Blitzkrieg is gonna uh, knock out Swain that is gonna pass out from Mordecai's damage. Sejuani is trying to put some pressure. Yazu is still speed pushing. Like this guy is playing PVE all day. It's kind of annoying, but I get it. I think like he's like I cannot win a team fight. Yazu just wants to farm. He has a very good like uh, pushing potential and does a lot of damage to turrets. So it's actually smart for him to do that, but it's still annoying for us because you see here we can't capitalize on the skill. Even though Swain died, we could have maybe gotten like some health from the mid turret. Alright, so right now what happens is that... Yes, I'm coming in, okay? He walls up so that I can't attack him and I'm trying to go around it, okay? I'm trying to go around it. Yasuo is stacking his um, his thing, like his, um, so he has a tornado ready, like it's, I don't know how to call it, but he has this tornado ready, you can see it here. And Soraka is coming here for the silence automatically, I think she's silencing way too soon to be honest. I really think that she should chill with that, she should not engage with this. Wait a little bit till she gets to me or something, like maybe the W should have been here when Yasuo dashed on me. I do, I do have flash in 3 seconds, I don't know what happened here, I'm sure curious what happened. So I get the turret and Yazoo just runs away. Sejuani is just gonna dash in, slow the guy, and we're gonna get the kill. So easy peasy, actually, no big deal. Maybe just the Sarka should have been more uh, careful with W. Uh, meanwhile, at mid lane, we need to protect since like they're pushing out. But that's what happens, honestly. Like when someone split pushes like this and it's annoying, just go deal with it and then try to be like try to deal it. Deal with it as soon as you can and work on a 5v4 situation because otherwise you don't want to work a 4v4 and a 1v1 always like sometimes you want to because like the TP and all that stuff but when this is being annoying and that Swain wants to play with with the team and then it's better like that and just go deal with it go deal with the Zezu, kill him try to push out the waves and do something else as elsewhere like go back to mid lane get a Drake and just Bite by bite, step by step, you should be good. 
Uh, here what happened is that Sejuani was very greedy. Like, it was an action where she just changed uh, low health, uh, and she's just, she was just being greedy. Like, that's a straight up stupid decision. Here I start the Drake. I thought we had enough burst to, like, took it down. It was actually very risky. I actually ended up getting it, but that was kind of stupid. That would have been a free Drake for them if they realized that they just killed Sejuani. So right now, I want to go kill Yazoo. I want to get rid of it. So you see, I actually want to get rid of it. I know that Swain is tanky enough to not die instantly. He's probably going to die. I'm trying to get through the wall. And actually, Swain is not going to die. That's, that's great news. He also got the kill, so he's going to even be better in the matchup. And I try to rush bottom. Like, after doing this, I don't just chill. I don't do the jungle. I just go rush bottom. I'm probably going to get that wave because I feel like the enemy team just backed off. I could have just checked that a little more. Right now, like, I should have looked at it. Like, I personally want to click and look at, at it, but I can't. Obviously, it's not the game. The enemy jungle is, like, around the Drake area. And I'm just going to start off by launching my rocket. So, the reason I want to do this is that I want to get assist so I can get my passive to get in into the fight but I also want to tell my teammates it's almost like sending mind games message where I'm just like oh I'm coming like I'm coming I'm here like I'm literally coming so that's that's also important like you don't have to do it it doesn't add you anything but if you get an assist you can get there so much faster so I just do it and then add some bursts and then just encourage the team to get into it like because it's like yo wow it was like 300 damage like we can get it now so, let's see what happens. We are just going in. Karma is going to be here. And I'm just going to put the worst E of the century here. I do force a flash, which is nice. But, come on. I could have done a better job there. I could have put it there. I could have put it maybe like right here to force her to go there. Or like something so that she can flash. I don't know. It was kind of stupid. We're not going to end up killing her, I think. She's just going to escape. She's going to take the W. But I'm not even gonna flash through it. Like no, I'm not gonna I don't feel like it. I was like let's just let's just save the flash. Sejuani is very greedy, so whatever. So right now I wanna call this action for my team. So right now what's happening is that uh Velkos called the Herald after the team fight I just showed you. And the enemy team is starting to revive. Only Graves is alive right now, and this is so risky. Like Sarka is so low health. And I honestly think it's a dumb decision, but we end up getting the tier 2 turret, and I'm like, right now, I'm getting the fuck out. Like, I'm not staying here. I'm not staying here. Like, I'm just doing the jungle just to chill, but I'm not staying here. I don't want to risk it, and I just go back. So this is really crucial, guys. If you think that you're making a right decision, if you think, if you can analyze the decision and say, I make the right decision, I think it's too, uh, it's too much, it's overstaying, it's overextending, and you want to go back... Go back. Now, don't try to be nice to your teammates. Don't try to listen to teammates all the time. If you think it's a good decision to go back, fuck him. Just go back. And here it's obvious. Like we already fought. We already fought. Like some people need to buy. I have sixteen hundred gold. I need to go back and buy some better items. So at this point here, it's like two, three minutes after Sejuani still hasn't backed, and the team fight engages. Valkos gets chased by a lot of people and kill uh, kills the Blitzkrank. And <clears throat> sorry. The Velkos is going to die from Mordekaiser, and then the chase begins. I start to come here. I think Yazu is going to come. He's right here. He puts the wall, completely denying me. Here, I feel like he's in the wall for some reason. So I don't really understand why I'm, he's not taking damage. And here, I'm just going to kite back and kill the Yazu. Making the situation a 3 for 3. But still, like, Sejuani needs to reset. Like, you need to go back so we can get Baron, so we can have better ambition, man. We want to chase the world. Or no, I'm sorry, but we like we needed to get Baron. Like we need to reset, get some tanky items, get some items, and just go Baron. We can fight them so hard. Like we don't need to overstay. That was so stupid. That was just that was like how to extend the game five minutes for nothing. All right, so here like there's a little small fight at Baron because Blissing was trying to get like division. We're just gonna uh, catch him. And we also uh, had Velkos one-shotting the Izu, I believe. We're going to start Baron. And right now I'm like, okay. We start Baron, but don't forget that Graves is still alive. So I start going here onto like this gap here, just to war, just to see what's up. Graves happens to be here, and that's when the zoning starts. Right here, I put automatically my E to zone him out. I don't know why he dashed so quickly, but whatever. And I put the E and the W at the same time, so I can zone I can zone him, force him to dash back or do something. Sejuani, I wasn't expecting that to happen, but 
Well, she just decided to rush in and stop the Baron, which is not a bad decision, I believe. Uh, it's always nice to uh, to get like a secure Baron 100%. The reason why I put my R instantly is that I found that she's really wasn't going to get a stun or like some sort of control, and I wanted to burst Graves down so that we can go straight back to Baron. But it just happened to not be the best decision here. It still explodes, it still does a lot of damage, but like we had all our team to make the burst. We're gonna take one kill, we're gonna take two kill, and it's gonna be a f two for zero situation here with Graves dead for 30 seconds, and we're just gonna get Baron. That's it. Free Baron, great decision here from Sejuani, I think. The, the whole like going straight up, turning around to Graves, and starting back up on Baron. Velkos is mid for some reason, but whatever, I have a lot of damage right now, and when I don't move, I, I with the Q, I can get a lot of attack speed, so I'm just shredding this thing, and we're gonna get Baron, Velkos died unfortunately, so we only have 4 buffs, so I cannot stay, obviously, and we're just gonna finish it, I'm kind of scared around, I'm kind of freaking out, I'm like, yo, they can come from anywhere, I'm gonna back, there's a lot of ways bought, and we're gonna see what happens, Drake is popping soon. Here, guys, there's a fight at Dragon, that is gonna be engaged. Dragon is popped 26 minutes into the game. I got the components of Blade of the Rune King. I got the IE. I got the static ship. I'm kind of late to the party. Like, there are only three. There's only like Swain, Sejuani, Blitz King in this area. Velkas is still dead from slacking in the mid lane earlier. And I'm here trying to deep push the mid lane. So, it's kind of hard to say if that was a mistake that I just did, but it was kind of like a terrible decision. Just me just being ignorant and being just surprised and caught off guard. So you see guys, I'm coming from a different angle. Like you can see the line of the click. I'm coming from a very weird angle. Sejuani is gonna engage with Swain that is gonna flash in. So this is a 2v5 right now. This, that, that can be judged insane, but I'm like, you know what? We're really into this game. I'm 6-0-8. I'm balling. I'm the I'm the best. <laughs> I was about to say I'm, I'm the bitch. Uh, but I was like, let's just go. Let's just go and see. I see that everyone is focused. Um, I see that everyone is focusing Sejuani, and I see that Karma is very like weak. I can tell. Like I just can't. I have this feeling that she's very weak, and with my crit, I can two shot her. If you don't have vision here, I know that. So I'm just gonna come, and I'm just gonna be like. Like, I'm just, I'm not going to be respected, let's say. So here, they were on Sejuani, they were on Sejuani, Tuno focusing her, Tuno focusing her, she didn't, she didn't steal the dragon of Eternity, but at this point of the game, it really didn't matter. And they're just going to turn around to me, and I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> oh shit, this is happening. And that happened. Tornado hooked at the same time, on the same line, and the rest is history, man. I actually got, like, I got fucked. Like, I got hardcore. So, <clears throat> it looks like a potential comeback from the enemy team. Of course, it's not good for us, but look here how in advance we are. Like, we're so ahead. It's, like, yeah, we're so ahead. Valkyrie is doing such a good job, and Sejuani is so tanky at this point. So, I'm not too worried but we better not do the same mistake because we can they can snowball like that's the one thing that they can snowball especially with Yazuo guys a lot of snowball potential here all right so here all right so here guys we have a leftover of our baron buff from earlier and we're going to push down mid lane the same lanes are okay but it's pushing towards us top is pushing towards them towards like for them, I want to say sorry, but we're cool, we're chilling. We have a leftover, uh, I think their mid turret here is lower, so we're just gonna push in. We're feeling confident. They don't have a lot of like, like they, they can't really clean the minions that fast. So I use my bazooka just to have an extra range and attack from here. I was good here, I was really good. I kind of waste my R. But it's just going to be me, like, staying back and being protected and just doing my thing. I try to kill the Blitzkrieg here. I get hooked. I'm going to flash out. Uh, it's okay. I think it's okay, guys. Like, the R is going to... Wow, that, that Q from Velkos is impressive. We're just going to kill Mordekaiser. And we're going to win the game. Right here in this team fight, there's nothing really I can say. Except the fact that I should have flashed out the hook instead of, like, after being hooked. That would have helped. Uh, I do use my two summoner spell on this on this fight. I think I'm gonna kill Blitzkrieg here. 
and this is gonna be the end of the game guys so thank you so much for watching guys I really uh, wish to hear your opinion about this format of me commenting on game I know it's weird there's a camera of me here but it's the record for my stream when I'm gonna record my own game they won't be this but I hope this is not awkward or anything uh, I, I really am doing this naturally like I do watch my replays to watch what's up and what I'm doing wrong and I hope you guys can learn anything from this. If you like the overflow mode with like the zoom in on the minimap, the text and all the stuff, uh, let me know. If you want to see both, let me know as well. And I would love to listen to your feedbacks. So thank you so much for being here, guys. I wish you an amazing day. And I'll see you for the next video, guys. Cheers.